Welcome to Section 1 with SmartAmp, where we're going to look at logging in, the landing page, and adding a class. The first thing you will do is go to SmartAmp.com. When you go to the website, it is going to prompt you to sign in, so in the upper right hand corner you will choose Sign In with Google. When you do that, you'll see that it's going to ask you to sign in with your current Google account, and this should be your current password that you have. Once you sign in, you're going to go to the landing page. On the landing page, you're going to have several options of how to interact. At the top, on the left, anytime you see this in SmartAmp, that is your home button, and it will bring you back to this page. The upper right is your account information. It's also where you can sign out, view some other tutorial videos, support, feedback, and any other brief information that you may need. In the middle, these are all the classes that have been created by you, or that you are a part of that maybe someone else created and invited you into. They are in alphabetical order, so if you're looking for a class, please know that it does go in alphabetical order, so that way when you scroll across, you can find the one that you may be looking for. Along the bottom, you'll have Add a Class, Join a Class, and Go to Workspaces. So we are going to Add a Class, and you have two ways to add a class. You can import from Google Classroom, which is directly connected to your Google account, or you can enter a new class name and hit Create. If I choose Import from Google Classroom, it will show me the classes I have already imported and any class that I have available to import that has not been imported yet. So if I choose this class and choose Import, it would automatically create a class for me based on the name of that class. Let's say that I wanted to create one though because I'm doing a very specialized unit and it is going to be on the Constitution of the United States. Now I may not have Google Classroom specifically for that, but I may have material that a class could use and I want them to interact. So I will click Create. When I click Create, you'll notice it brings me to this screen. It will tell me the class name that I just typed in, where this folder is located, because it will automatically create a folder in Google Drive for me, and then I can begin to add participants. Now you can add participants simply by typing in the student's last name and first name. So you'll notice that it is a lot easier if you can import a class. So I just populated Katie Lang into my class. I can also have the students join by using this code and typing that code into the join section on the main page or use the QR code as the scan and then they would join the class. I can click OK. It will tell me my class has been created and now I will see this create and share. If at any time I need to edit my class, I can go to view class, edit class, and it will take me to the editing page. When I'm inside of a class, the first thing it will tell me is this is the name of the class I'm in, Constitution of USA, and then I will go the three tabs across, which we will look at create and share and assess in our next video. So I'm going to choose the home button again to take me back to the main page. And you'll see now that Constitution of USA is listed as one of my classes. I can also join a class by typing in that class code here, clicking join, and it will put me into a class. Thank you for joining us for part one, and we look forward to part two where we're going to look at class view and assessment.